A woman held hostage during a police standoff in Spartanburg County this morning is safe this evening. And the man accused of holding her, Travis Jones, is in custody facing possible charges of kidnapping. News 13's Darren Vitello has been following this story throughout the day and joins us live in our Greenville News Center. Darren, what started, it, started this standoff? Well, it began around 6 o'clock this morning with a woman just sitting by the pool who ended up leading police to a dangerous and wanted criminal. Dwayne Shonadir works at the Greer Burger King off Highway 101. He's known by his co-workers as a jokester. They be thinking I'm playing about everything, so when I'm serious, they say it's going to be hard to believe me. So Adir's boss didn't believe him when he called to say he'd be late for work due to a police standoff at the motel where he's staying. She said, you can't be serious. I said, well, step outside and look at Super 8. If she did, she'd see this. Dozens of police cars and emergency responders surrounding the motel just a few hundred yards behind the restaurant. Adir and other guests waited in the parking lot for nearly four hours while police standoff unfolded inside one of the rooms. They wouldn't let us go back up there because they had gas in the uh, hallways. It took multiple tear gas canisters and nearly five hours of negotiations to get Travis Jones into custody and a woman being held against her will inside the room with Jones to safety. A spokesperson for Greer Police Department says a call came in around 6 this morning about a suspicious woman hanging out by the motel pool. The same woman told officers she'd been threatened and led them to Jones and the woman who would soon become a hostage. Adir says this is an experience he won't soon forget. Not when cops have ARs and stuff like that at your door telling you to come out. Buddy says it's not an experience his boss will soon believe. Today I'm serious and I don't think they believe me. But I'm, I'm so serious, Trisha. Officers tell us the woman who was held hostage by Jones inhaled some tear gas, but otherwise didn't have any injuries. Live in the Greenville News Center, Darren Botello, News 13.